in, we got the two Johns here for Table Talk. John Dostrzemski and John Elva and JJ, obviously the Mets offense, um, did struggle at first against the Pirates' Jared Jones. Did you have any doubts that the Mets were going to come back and win this game? No, not really, because they've kind of had that bug in a good way within them over the last few games. And I understand these front offices are very careful with young starting pitchers, and there's been this rash of injuries. 50-something pitches. He's cruising through five innings. How could you possibly take him out of that game? That's just managing malpractice. That's the definition of getting way too cute. But the bottom line is the Mets are not going to apologize for it. Joey Wendell gets a big hit off the bullpen. Like seeing different guys contribute. Obviously, you get a balk in there. You're not going to apologize for that. And then McNeil does this thing late. So, yeah, it was a terrible sequence if you're a fan of the Pittsburgh Pirates. The good news is, John Alva, I don't think we got a whole lot of Pirate fans <laughs> watching the show. The Mets fans, they okay with the win. Yeah, your old colleague used to say you can't predict baseball, but sometimes baseball does become awfully predictable. When you remove a pitcher... Ready for this? Of the 59 pitches, 50 of those were strikes against the New York oh Mets. Oh, my goodness. 50 of the 59 were strikes. The Mets had no answer for Jones whatsoever. And as you said, we've, we're very much in this intense conversation right now about arms and torn UCLs. This isn't even a pitch limit. This is an innings limit. But when you're at 59 pitches, what's the point of even having a starting pitcher in Major League Baseball at this juncture if this is going to be the move that I is I think we're done through 59 I, pitches I, in two innings. Two innings, <laughs> right. Exactly. We'll get to that later. But but you're 100% right, man. And just seeing what the Mets were able to put together here, when that bullpen is firing, Reed Garrett has been absolutely exceptional this season. 99th percentile whip percentage and strikeout percentage per our own Anthony DeComo. Outstanding stuff from him. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. But I think the front office and the manager probably um, learned something. 1,000%. Not doing that anymore. No, but, uh, 100%. Anyway, so, John, another stellar performance, like you mentioned, by the Mets bullpen. Uh, only gave up one hit, uh, one hit in four innings. So how much credit do you think they deserve during this resurgence from the start of the season? Massive, because when you put your offense in a sustainable position by providing a quality bullpen outings, it gives them an opportunity to do what they were brought in to do. It gives guys like Pete Alonso a chance to go yard. It gives guys like Jeff McNeil, or this is the Joey Wendell game, as we talked about before. It gives them opportunities to come through in the clutch. I just talked about Garrett before. Lopez was great in this one. Drew Smith was great in this one. As we've discussed many times here on Sports Night, JJ, this is a major league baseball that we watch now where your starter just has to go five innings and then the bullpen can take it the rest of the way. Gang, I think what you're seeing in the early season with this Met bullpen is the David Stearns Very much effect. So. Because this is a guy who had a reputation in his time with the Milwaukee Brewers. He was able to go and find pitching talent. Now, I understand some of these arms that we were talking about were within the Met organization before David Stearns came to town. But I do like to believe that some of that good juju maybe followed him from Milwaukee to the Mets. Their bullpen has been terrific. We've talked about, yes, the Mets' starting rotation has exceeded expectations so far, but their bullpen, compared to years past, seems deeper. It seems like they have more options, and for them to be able to hold this game without Diaz, without Adovino is a really good sign. 